inspired America to greatness. He refused to back down and fought against all odds. He won the admiration and love of the country. His legacy has endured. Theodore Roosevelt was born on October 27, 1858. A bright young man who was advised to take an office job due to a poor heart graduated from Harvard with honors. He would later drop out of Columbia Law School to pursue a New York State Assembly seat. He would occupy for two years. At the age of 23, young Roosevelt started his writing career, one that would encompass 35 books. His first, The Naval War of 1812, would become standard literature at the Naval War College, as well as the Navy purchasing copies for every ship's library. In 1884, Roosevelt's wife, Alice Hathaway Lee, died just two days after giving birth to their daughter. Heartbroken, he named his newborn Alice Lee. He would later write, When my heart's dearest died, the light went from my heart forever. Grief-stricken, he left his assembly seat and moved west. He purchased two ranches and took up life as a cowboy. In 1886, Roosevelt moved back to New York and attempted to relaunch his political career, running for mayor of New York City. He lost. During this time, he married again, Edith Kermit Carew. She'd remain his wife for the next 33 years. Later, Theodore Roosevelt would serve on the board of New York police commissioners and as assistant secretary to the Navy. In 1898, America went to war. What is commonly referred to as the Spanish-American War all started with the sinking of the USS Maine in Havana. Remember the Maine became the battle cry. Restless to serve on the front, Roosevelt resigned from the Navy Department. With the help of a friend, he formed a volunteer cavalry corps, consisting of cowboys to Ivy League grads, newspapers referred to them as the Rough Riders. The Battle of San Juan Hill vaulted Colonel Theodore Roosevelt onto the national stage. As a result of his newfound fame, Theodore was able to successfully run for governor of New York. His popularity increased with the public as he sought to root out corruption. Within his own party, dissension arose. In an effort to limit TR's influence, they selected him as running mate to William McKinley. While attending the Pan American Exposition, President McKinley was assassinated. On September 14, 1901, Theodore Roosevelt was sworn in as 26th President of the United States, the youngest to ever hold the office. Roosevelt served seven and a half years as President, breaking up trusts, creating the Square Deal, the driving force behind the Panama Canal. A naturalist, he conserved over 230 million acres. Awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, he is the only President to have been decorated with the Congressional Medal of Honor. T.R. decided to not run for a second elected term in 1908. He bowed out of the presidency and allowed William Taft to step in. Over the next four years, he would travel the world, including his renowned African safari and Brazilian expedition adventures. In 1912, disgusted with the way Taft was handling things, he decided to run again for presidency on his own progressive bull moose party. While campaigning on October 14, 1912, Theodore Roosevelt was shot in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The bullet embedded itself in his ribcage, slowed by folded papers and his eyeglass case. With blood seeping from the wound, he continued on his 90-minute speech saying, it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. And he nearly pulled it off. For the first and only time in U.S. history, a third-party candidate came in second. He beat out President Taft, but lost to Woodrow Wilson. It was to be his last time in the limelight. On January 6, 1919, Theodore Roosevelt died. He was just 60 years old. Great men don't come often, but when they do, their legacy lives on for generations. Such was the case with the cowboy who became president. T.R., Renaissance man, was a champion of the American spirit a man who respected and deserved to be respected. A man who believed in the greatness of the common man. It takes more than a title to make a president. It takes character and ethics. It takes wisdom and stature. Theodore Roosevelt showed us that.